Hey, storytellers, storytelling Ron. D&D betrayed me. D&D betrayed us. That's why I became radical. I became radical not because uh, I want to do. I became radical because of what D&D and WotC has been doing. Uh, and I saw this two years ago before even the OGL thing and all that. That's when they're starting to get even. That's when they started getting more power. And, and they saw uh, all of you, and I'm pointing at all of you, um, were loyal to them. So they said, oh, we got this fan base that's going to do whatever we say. And that is woke and that is on the left and that's they have their agenda. I know those guys are all left wing. The um they're all power hungry. They're all they they want to centralize power. That's what you don't have to believe in God. The serpent said to Eve, You don't have to believe in God what God says. Be your own God. Be your own God. That's paganism. So what you do, you're a good person. You decide you're going to nirvana. You decide who, what gods you want to worship or not worship or how you're going to worship them. You decide. You're the god. That's paganism. It doesn't matter what you are. I'm I'm atheist. I'm above all of that. You're a pagan. Um, that's what how God defined it 4,000 years ago. Written in, in a word that has never changed. And he defined it. Defined all of y'alls for us. For you. The serpent told Eve, don't believe what God says. Don't believe a stupid Bible, stupid children's stories. Don't believe that. You can decide for yourself and be your own God. So D&D um, betrayed us. It went woke, left. It, it's, you know, every June it's celebrating Pride Month. We don't, I don't want gay characters. I don't want sexualized characters. I want a, you know, a king and a queen. And I don't want any, any other sexual storylines or anything. I don't want any sexual orientation things in, in the games. I've never have. Uh, most of us don't. We just want adventure and fun and fighting and, and cool stuff like that. But we want a king and a queen when we deal with things. We don't want two kings that are touching each other or whatever. Um, when we touch on sexual sexual stuff, it's got to be so weird and distant and, and you know, removed. Uh, I don't want to go to a table where I'm being told what I have to believe as far as men and women and trans and gay. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want an LGBTQ friendly type of game because then I would have to go to a game where I, uh, all Christian friendly, you have to be Christian friendly at the table. Imagine saying that, or you have to be Nazi friendly or you have to be Islamic friendly. I don't know what, what, what you know, any friendly, I don't want to be any friendly because the game is about making characters and going through a silly adventure, right? That's kind of what the motif at all, but no, they changed it, right? They, they betrayed us. They changed it to have, uh, the gay characters, the gay, this, the LGBTQT, the trans, um, they're taking out the male, female kind of concepts and, and even the races and all that. The, 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 they, they're, they're, they're changing the wordings, right? They're taking out slavery. They're taking a barbaric, they're taking out primitive. They're taking out all these, they're, they're literally doing word speak in it. Like just like 1984, George Orwell's 1984. There's, I remember there's, I, I, I've only read it once like in high school, but I remember distinctly the part where the guy was describing how they were changing the language and like reducing the, the vocabulary so that you, so that people would just have less and less concepts to understand and re, you know, and think about. And they were doing that year after year, just diminishing the, our language. And that's, and I saw the video, I, I put it, put it on my YouTube, but I saw the video, the guy who lovingly supported it was going through how things were being changed in, in the D and D like stealth edits, uh, to the player's handbook and all on, online anyway. Because they're moving away from print. Print is something that pagans and, and don't like because they can't stealth edit a print. Once, you know, Harvey Milk's biography is in print, so they can't stealth edit it. And he says how he uh, drugged uh, an underage boy and, and sexually, you know, whatever. Um, and it's in print. And, he, and it was officially promoted by him back when he thought that was fine and they, everyone could get away with that kind of stuff. Uh, so they can't stealth edit that. The Bible, the reason the Bible is in a, a book and not a video or not a whatever, because it, it, the, a book is God's way of giving you a message that doesn't change. Um, and when people try to change it, you can go back to another version and say, hey, you changed it. You try to change it. You tried to lie about what the Bible actually says, you know, you, you, or you mistranslated it. So that's the, the glory and truth of, of print. So D&D has betrayed us and changed the game. And I saw it coming, not, not because of the OGL or anything. I saw it coming because of the woke because they celebrated June pride month, pushed it on. 
they created the rainbow symbol and all that. I'm like, put the cross on there then. Um, and I didn't want to put the cross on there. Right. I just wanted to have a fun game. I believed in it. I believed in, uh, getting, getting rid of my faith or my agenda and all of us getting together and playing a game. And we did that. Like when I, the, two, the, 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 the storm King's thunder playlist and the tomb of annihilation is me playing with, uh, some pagans, left wingers, Democrats, whatever. One guy's a, a full on Democrat, whatever. And, and we had an agreement that we would not talk religion or politics and we just play the game and we got along and we loved it. Um, and I really, I do miss those guys. I do, but I have to now, because of the agenda that's going on, on the, in D and D and in, in the culture and in the WOTC and, and how they're pushing it on to Twitter. Now, X, of course on X, I guess they're not, I don't know, whatever, how they're pushing it. They're celebrating every June. And then during Christmas, they just kind of, they're kind of like quiet, right? Uh, winter cell, right? Winter cell, um, happy holidays. You know, that's it. There's, what about Easter? Are they going to bring up, you know, to all, to all Christians celebrating Easter? You know, we hope you have a wonderful Easter and for full of blessings. Are they going to post that on, on, on the Watsi, you know, whatever they going to put that out there? No, they're not, but they're going to put the pride stuff out there. And that is an absolutely directly opposite thing of what we Christians believe. Right. So, you know, they betrayed us. They betrayed us. They take, they took, they stole the product just like in star Wars and Marvel and everything. And they're pushing an agenda of the woke and the pagan and whatever. And I understand that that's, you know, that's okay. Actually, I am not saying what they're doing is their betrayal, um, is necessarily, um, wrong for, you know, they, they can do that. You have every, they have every right to do that. So that's fine. Ergo, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm, um, now becoming a hardcore, like zealot fanatical Christian RPG guy who's trying to get Christian men away from D and D. And I have, you know, so I can do that. And that's what my videos are all about. I'm going after, uh, Christian men to stop playing Dungeons and Dragons, stop treating it like a sacred cow. It's not. And you have alternatives, mine, or, or, or you make your own homebrew your own or whatever you want to do. Put Christianity into the game, into the D and D game. If people are offended, that's fine. They go, you know, you separate. All right. That's what Jesus said. We would be separated. We'd be, we'd be forced to be separated or God's going to separate us anyway. And you can see it happening um, in the culture today. You can see the left taking over Star Wars and Marvel and all this entertainment that kind of lulled us into a, a happy stance of getting, go along, get along. Um, and now they don't want to go along, get along. They want you to uh, absolutely accept everything they believe and deny God and deny Jesus Christ. So no. All right. So let me just show you some happier times, but these are happier times where you're being dilute where we were being diluted, right? Look at this. Look at this happy guy talking about storm King's thunder. This is like my first videos. I think where I started doing D and D or, or anything four years ago. Uh, and I started doing these videos on how to do, how to GM storm King's thunder and then how to YouTube in or whatever. Oh my gosh. Look how happy I am, you know? And there's all, look at all these videos I did. Um, let's, you know, ah, oh, wonderful. Look at this one here. Look at me, my young self four years ago, <laughs> my goofy and talking about star. I really love star Wars. I love the feel of it. The star Wars adventure. I loved collecting all their books, the, even the different games. I, I would, you know, like a kid would go through them. I was so lulled and joyful. I mean, look at all these videos I did on how to GM it. I had to fi I figure it all out. You know, look at this. I was lurking on foundry. Oops. I created these freaking maps. I got, I grabbed all the, look at this. I figured all this out got all the dice going. Um, this was actually meant to be about D and D not Star Wars. Look at this. I did all the little characters. I grabbed all the toy action figures. I collected all these action figures off the internet, you know, put them on here and figured this all out and was so into this. I I drew out this little city for them to go adventure in, which was so much fun. And look at this. Uh, come on, turn it off that real quick. I mean, I created a, a mine nearby. They went and searched around in, uh, all these little maps I did. Oh, what a wonderful, you know, I was so happy. In my childhood, I was so happy and naive and happy. Look at this. Oh, these are Christian men, by the way. And we were playing this game. And that was kind of my, I wanted to play with Christian men just to see, you know, play D&D with Christian men. And we were just playing D&D, straight D&D. &D. Um, and look at that, the cool environments I have in here and stuff. Um, well, my wife's printing something out. Hold on a minute. I'm going to pause it and I'm talking about, I can't remember what I was talking about because she's going to distract me. Hold on a second. You know, oh, hold on.
whatever she's printing something and the printer's right next to me okay so look at this joyfulness oh i just want to go through where is this like the scenes I, look at how dark and creepy it is i created all these like drawings of their characters of everything i'm gonna go through that real quick look at this all this happy D D stuff here um look at that this is in roll 20 when i was in uh, roll 20 look at that ship thing there on oh, my daughter do- my daughter was playing with us too see there's they're in the ship there they're they're sneaking around in this swampy galleon on in tomb of annihilation look at all these look at all these episodes we did full on hardcore D and this is my group too where you know we're all just happy not no politics no religion they're going to the swamp here oh my gosh i'm gonna show you um let me go to look at this this is the embala uh this is i didn't have uh, uh this is halfway in the the um the tomb of annihilation look at that look at that i'm telling you to look 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 at that this is oh this is the dudes they're gonna f- encounter and fight oh this is their packaging guys they're their handler porters and they're, they're dinos and then this is where they go and encounter and fight a bunch of cult dudes and cr- creatures look at this dude i drew look at that how cool that dude looks oops look at all these dudes i'm gonna show you on my website though but look at that look, i created this map they're f- slogging around in the muddy swamps look at the blood effects got these uh jungle dudes here look at that cannibal mob oh my gosh just wonderful times i did all kinds of maps here on the side i don't know if you can see those um uh they never they never went there let me see you know anyway you can see my stuff over there um i'm gonna go to my website real quick to show you how happy i used to be so this is my kickstarter you want to do it? okay uh D and D. Look at this. I did all of these resources. These are on my website, and the reason I'm not like deleting my YouTube, my D and D stuff, and my um, all that. It's one. I have fond memories of it. I don't consider myself to be a sinner doing it. I don't consider you to be a sinner as a Christian man doing D and D. I'm just trying to get you away from it because of we need to be evangelistic. The society is calling for us. Okay, the society is so bad now. We're sexualizing the children. There's sex trafficking. There's horrible stuff happening to a high degree even higher than before and it's you know it's and they're becoming uh, legislative i mean one day they're gonna they're gonna legislate this stuff to be legal because we're not evangelizing the church and i've been reading church history and the whole reason we 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 confronted paganism and built and spread the church is because of missionaries confronting paganism building you know evangelism and planning churches we need to do that and there's plenty of churches around so instead of planning churches in america we need to strengthen those churches uh, and make sure they're biblical. And so we need Christian men to come up, stop being lulled by role-playing games and, and have a role-playing game. So I'm not saying, t- I'm not taking away role-playing games from you or storytelling because it's very important, very important for us to be storytellers and have fellowship and a vacation. But I'm trying to get you to put your faith into it. Don't don't care about what they say. Anyway, I'm going to go through this just because I'm, look at this. And this is on my website. You can even come here and grab stuff if you want to play D&D still, whatever. I, I, I'm against you, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so I did these little maps here you can download. You know, this is the beginning of the Prime of the Frost Maiden. I have a ton of maps, I'm pretty sure. This is, um, man, I did some, this is the inside interior, interior of this map. Look at this. Uh, this is a, I think it's a big file, but this is the interior. Of, I changed the uh, the prison area up north in the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, made it like this. It's all ruined. We played that out. It was very cool. Put a bunch of, I put the dragon in. I, I changed the story a bit, you know, quite a bit. To, but look at this. The Nightwalker dudes. Uh, some of this is the, the, the D and D stuff, you know, the, the characters, but some of these are my own. These are all my own original characters as far as drawing. Um, this is my own snow golem Knights of the hunt. I made it. These dudes, Knight of the hunts, uh, frost giant skeleton, Dwargars. Look at that. A sled Co- ghost captain. I, um, that was a background story thing. Zombie ogre grail. I did my own grail. Look at that. Look at that. Is it loading or what? Why is it loading? Loud. There it is. Boom. Look out. Aren't I amazing? Ah, I had so much fun. This is so much fun. I, I I get it. It is. It's so much fun. Look at all these dudes. Oh, dude. These, I never got to do these. Look at these, man. I was doing like the thing. Mogrifians. These creepy. Um, Mogrifian horde. We never finished Rhyme of the Frost. I mean, kind of sad. I totally was creating this ending, you know, in the uh, fallen ship uh, with these Mogrifians. Look at that. Is that creepy or what? 
oh, I've got to use these for my, I'm going to do a Gothic RPG where it's more like Sanguinarian and, you know, like Templars and Knights fighting demon, demons. And, and so I'm going to fall back on more of the horror, Christian horror. I'm going to be like a Christian horror RPG. Oh yeah, that's what I call it, Christian horror RPG. And it's going to be like 14th century versus satanic witches. And I really want to do it. Anyway, it, it is kind of falling back onto a D&D type thing, but I got to do it. Uh, and then I probably, I don't know if I'll go back to this kind of drawing for it or keep the doodling. Because I kind of want it to be compatible with the regular Ford Load RPG. So I might keep it cartoony, but have some Christian horror like this in it. Where you got to fight demonic things. Uh, but anyway, so there's my, oh, just wonderful. You know, and there. I'm making this video to show you that I really, you know, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, come on, load. Just a WebP file. Let me do it again. Load map dragon bones. Come on. All right, here's the galleon. Look at that. I'll, I'll go back to the dragon bones. Look at that. Isn't that cool or what? Is that cool? There's a it's sunken in the sh in the swamp. This is, you know, one of the locations in the Tomb Annihilation, but I drew. Oh, there it is. Look at that, man. This is where the, um, I made this the, um, the layer of the the frog dudes, the frog dudes lived here, and the dead dragon. There's a because there is a dead dragon thing, um, but they didn't have good maps of those. I didn't really care for them, so I drew these out. This is a snowstorm overlay. Look at this long fight map they did. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Um, swamp thing, swamp thing. Yes, you know. So these are all. I put these all on my website so you could use them. Oh, why isn't these loading? It should be loading there. Yeah, okay, it just takes them a little bit to load, but they're there. It's little swamp maps, and they're huge, so you know you, you go up close to them. Uh, and look at this, guys. I drew my own tomb guardians. I drew my own tomb tappers, which I never got to use because we we never got the end. I don't know how. Why didn't we finish it? Um, where I'm the frost man. I don't really know. It's it was weird. We all kind of like, you know, kept missing at the end there. Um, it was very strange. I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. Why? How? How it? It kind of just at the end there. People were missing, and then it was like I went into weeks, and then a month, and I was kind of emailing, and it just kind of never really came together. It was really weird. So I don't know. It was very uh, anticlimactic. Look at this, a frog hemeth. Oh, that's too small. But anyway, that's a. This is his. Like, I did a reveal. You know, this part, then this part, which pop up. You know, with the with the tentacles and then the full reveal you know that's why i did the artwork look at these dudes man I, all the aldonis i made them like this all cool and monstery i do want to like you know go back to using these because it is wonderful look i did the yuan t i drew my own yuan t's man i was so such a hardcore gm i'm just like all these blights i did all right it's not loading whatever it's there but it's not loading look at this i did a torto i created my own monsters Here's a frog giant, some boats. Oh, here's the uh, bully wugs. I use bully wugs as, uh, as my uh, frog because I think they use the grunges. Grunges, yeah. I changed it to the bully wugs. And here's some NPCs. I did like a conquistador little style of NPCs in the jungle. You know, I just had a wonderful time with this. I really did. Um, and I hope to cr create, you know, you as well and me creating for the Lord RPG worlds and settings with doodling art or this kind of art, you know, we need to start somewhere and just let's start now. Um, you know, as much as I love this, I cannot go back to D and D. I do not want to look at, I made town. Look at this for storm Kings thunder. They're a freaking town. They went to, um, I shouldn't let me move it over a little, just so you can see more, you know, this is on my website, so you can obviously grab it. If you know, not, not, you shouldn't though. Okay. Because you need to do a four load RPG. Um, this is kind of one of my early maps I started doing when I first started doing the artwork. Uh, you know, I did a lot of like this, like I changed the thing. I made it more swampy. I wanted to, cause I figured a hill giants would be dirty and swampy and orcs and goblins. You know, it wouldn't be like a fun forest place. It would be duh, gross and swampy and dirty. And, uh, um, you know, so that's how I changed, I changed the maps a bit to oops i don't know what that is oh, my pagan stuff um that's strange why would it oh i don't know what it did there oh i was trying to download it um you can down yeah you can download this stuff i'm not whatever do whatever you want but oh this is um the beast slark rethel the uh ancient one because one of them was a warlock oh come on just load 
It's a PNG, so I guess that's bigger than, than the WebP's. There it is. Rawr. I had this thing floating around on the screen. Oh, this was de- oh, my pagan page there. This is definitely, oh, let me show you that just for the fun of it since it's popping up. This is what pagans do. Look at that. These are all cosplays. These are modern day European ones, but this is, I, I download these because like, wow, this is exactly the kind of beasts that uh, pa- pagans today and pagans in the old days would do, right? To scare you, to create a, uh, and that's where I, that's the kind of, I use co- like pagan cosplay as the old, as the, as the monsters of, for the Lord uh, RPG in the dark ages. They're basically cosplay humans, but they're, but they're, 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 they're monsters because they're basically hardcore, you know, feral or demonic possessed wearing these cosplays and being werewolves and being trolls and being goblins in these cosplays, but they're just as dangerous as, as a troll or, you know, like because of their drug, they're drugged or whatever. Uh, so they're just as dangerous, but look at all these tokens I made freaking look at all these bug bears. Look how, oops, look how cool they look, right? Well, I think they look cool. I think these guys look awesome. And these could be like costumes. They could totally be costumes too. You know, the person paints their face, they blackface their face. They put on this bugbear outfit and terrorize the village, you know? So, and these are orcs. I, I went crazy. I, I, I love Lord of the Rings and, and, and uh, The Hobbit. And so I went crazy drawing different orcs and using them in, you know, in the game. And I played a big epic battle with my daughter, you know, at the table using these paper cutouts. Uh, and she had a whole army she played. It was, that's not crazy. It was, or is, or am. Look at these creepy, look at these dudes. These dudes I drew. Is that creepy? I don't know, how is this? Oh, it's a PDF. It's a printable. These are printables. Uh, Anyway, okay, so you get the idea, right? I I went crazy. I was in love, eh, whatever, okay. I was in love with all of this and I had a wonderful time. Let me go to Star Wars real quick. Okay, so, and I did all these videos on Princess of the Pop Clips. I did deep dives into it, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, my own stuff. So for Star Wars, look at this. I drew my own uh, Aqualish and uh, what's these guys called again? Clat, clat, Clatuans, Clatuans and some creatures. These are, oh, and this dude, I love this dude from the, from, uh, the e- Iogro Gundark, maybe whatever it was, um, the Tatooine dude, the creature. I drew that out. Uh, let me go back. Uh, let me go back to the Star Wars. How do we go back? I don't have a back button for this. Um, I also went crazy with Star Wars and did all you know. Went and downloaded and cut out all the toys and made little action printable action figures for you. So you can print them out, paper, you know, fold them and have all these. And these are all tokens for if you want to put them on. Uh, you know, a VTT. I'm not deleting them because I'm not, I don't hate the past. I don't hate what I've done. I'm just not going to move forward with it. Um, but they're here. They're here for, even for my own, whatever they're here on the website while I can still afford to run the website. <laughs> Cause I, I can't seem to make that much money. I'm not like a, I don't know. I'm just not a marketing business guy. I'm obviously, I rub people the wrong way. You know, my style, that's just the way I am. But Anyway, I do got a Kickstarter going. I am going to be doing a membership on YouTube. Uh, I'm starting that up just for the heck of it. And I'm going to be doing a lot of GM prep on that one. Uh, we'll see, you know, like videos where, you know, I'm just talking about GM prepping and doing long form videos. Literally while I'm working, you're going to, it's like documenting me working. So those are going to be on the member uh, area. I'll be doing that here shortly. Uh, so D&D betrayed me. It betrayed me. It left all of this that I was uh, joyfully doing. And you're saying, uh, no, but it, it was everywhere, right? It was everywhere. Like I didn't go to conventions or anything, oddly enough, I probably should have, but you, you know, you're being kicked out if you're a Christian or even if you espouse anything, the politics of it were getting so crazy. I, I maybe it's come down now, right? Maybe it's come down now, but, uh, you know, F you, I don't care. I, I I'm done with it. Uh, I, I love this. This is wonderful. If you watch my Christians of Space now, and and I did some play testings and, and had some actors on for Dark Ages and Apostles of the Apoc. I'm having a joyful time. I'm I'm just so it is joyful. I'm still polishing up the game, cleaning it up. They're getting crazy with what they want to do. Like you know, as you get more into a game, you get uh, the higher level you get, right? The more crazy stuff you want to do: engineering, research, crafting, building your own ships. You know all that stuff. I'm trying to work that out and 
Now that's sort of, it's getting kind of unwieldy because they're getting to that level where they want to do all this crazy stuff. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep, I'm not trying to stop it from doing it. I'm trying to let them do it, but I'm trying to interpret it and interpret it, interpret it for the, for the, for the game, for the, you know, the uh, game rules. Um, but you know, that's in every game that is the case, right? In D and D and star Wars, I've always had to, uh, constantly rechange things around the rules, make up things as a GM to just get past because everyone gets so creative in what they want to do. So you have to constantly um, uh, homebrew or customize the game because of all the customizing the players want to do as their players. And I'm trying to like s- foolishly uh, encapsulate all of that into the rules, which I probably should chill on. I should probably make a rule like, hey guys, the and this because a lot of the Christian people that are going to be role playing this or learning starting this are new, especially dads. And I want them to say, "Hey, I want I do need to remind everyone that hey, there's going to be a lot of customization going on because your kids and players are going to want to do different things that are not covered in the rules, and you just have to come out with a simple way of doing it uh, for yourself and not be frustrated or or overburdened by that." Uh, anyway, okay, I guess that's enough of a video for D and D betrayed me. It betrayed me, and I was going to do a separate one on Star Wars, but apparently I put it in this one. Star Wars betrayed me too. D and D betrayed me. They betrayed me, and you, as a Christian men, as men, they changed their ideology to woke, and that's not cool. And they, and now they're, you know, I'm watching all the the, the other dudes out there talking about D and D and Hasbro and Watsy and and everything's bombing. The whole economy's bombing. Um, gee, I wonder why. Um, uh, you know? Okay. In the game of life, roll holy dice. <laughs>